Hey everybody, it's me Henry. Today we're gonna talk about the five tips that will help you to stop stuttering. Let's get started. It is no secret that most people have insecurities. These are simply characteristics of ourselves that we are self-conscious about. For example, some people aren't as tall as they would like to be, while other people hate the color of their hair, while someone else might be highly insecure about the shape of their nose. And stuttering is something that often causes embarrassment. Fortunately, there are tips you can practice to stop stuttering. If you or the loved one is experiencing embarrassment or anxiety due to stuttering, it is important to get help you need. This way, you know you are addressing fluency concern in the most effective way possible and improving your quality of life. And in this video, we're gonna share you the five easy to follow tips to help you to get rid of stuttering and start communicating with ease and confidence. Number one, relaxation. When you have a starter, it tends to make you feel self-conscious about interacting with others. And this typically leads to inner tension. It is important to keep in mind that this tension you are experiencing is not your friend. In fact, it would only make things worse. And yet, relaxation is the key for freeing both your mind and body. When your body is free of tension, this will create a more natural flow of breath, enabling speech to flow more freely as well. Focusing on relaxing takes helps the mind not to focus on speech, thus reducing self-consciousness regarding your stutter. Relaxing practices such as mindfulness and meditation can be tremendously beneficial. Meditating is a great way to clear your mind, reduce anxiety and stress, all of which can significantly reduce the tension that leads to speech issues. Number two, articulation. Learning not to start can be frustrating because it feels out of your control. And yet, it is actually not a terribly complicated process. One of the most important aspects of improving speech disorders is to learn manipulate the way you produce sounds. This is largely accomplished by the way you manipulate your mouth. After all, your mouth is a major part of your speaking mechanism. Articulation exercises help you to focus on the muscles of your mouth so that you have greater control over your facial movements, resulting in improved control of the way you speak. The key is learning to be intentional rather than simply falling into the habits of the patterned speech rhythm. We are creatures of habits after all. Thus, we have to break old habits in order to replace them with better habits. Speech habits are no different. In other words, focusing on correcting your mechanism for the way you make sounds orally. And that's exactly what will happen. Number three, focus on your voice and breathing. The way you breathe is incredibly important. This is true on many levels. That's why meditation teaches us to focus on breathe. The seemingly simple act of observing your breathing process has the ability to alter the mind, reduce stress, and provide your mind and body with peace. Focusing on your breath can also be very helpful in improving the way you speak. One of the primary impediments to proper speech is shallow breathing coming from the top of your vocal cords. This results in blocks and repetition in breathing, creating a never-ending cycle that will continue until the cycle is broken. Concentrate on being as still as you can. Take a deep breath, hold it for a moment, and then slowly release it. You can close your eyes if you like, but it is not necessary. The key is to consciously relax away from the thoughts that create anxiety. This is incredibly important because your anxiety leads directly to your stutter response. Number four, record yourself. Most people spend their entire day speaking without giving a thought to how they sound. And yet, listening to the sound of your own voice can be extremely educational. It can also shine a light on the things you might never have noticed. This is especially true of the people that stutter. Recording yourself might make you feel uncomfortable, but it is also very useful too. Hearing the sound of your own voice may be startling at first, yet it will show you the pattern of the speech they are likely totally unconscious. This allows you to study such patterns and then work to make adjustments. As you record yourself, keep a diary. Then, as you work on your breathing and consciously manipulate the muscles of your throat, mouth, and face to speak differently, 
you'll be able to track your progress. You won't need a special equipment. In fact, your smartphone is the perfect device for this practice. And you can record yourself any time of the day, for a few seconds or just a few minutes, then play it back and study what you hear. Number five, acting. When it comes to ending your stutter, it is important to keep in mind that there is no miracle cure or magic pills you can take, but there are tools you can use in order to break the pattern. Believe it or not, acting is one of them. Acting allows you to become someone without a stuttering problem. This will enable you to stand out outside yourself so that you can shift your perspective. That's all for the sharing today. If you find values and like this video, please consider to smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos just like this from this channel. And most importantly, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I would love to read your comment and reply to your comment. And I hope to see you in the next video.